in today's video i'm going to be showing you a trick that can help you move your chorus from one position to another in a more precise way let's get into the video my name is che i make music production tutorials for beginners on youtube in cubase and fl studio if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video so this issue is something that most of us music producers have come across before so there's a situation where instead of recording the chorus again you would rather just copy it and paste it on different points of the song but usually what happens is if you take it to a new location of the song you discover that it becomes a little bit too difficult to fit it with the beat the way it was recorded so you don't really know exactly where it is supposed to sit so that it fits into the beat just as it was recorded i'm going to show you a trick that can really help you in terms of finding the right position for your next chorus or the third one firstly i would like to give a shout out to dj weed who requested for this video via my instagram so feel free to follow me on instagram and feel free to request for another video that you'd like to see on my channel one thing that we need to do in order for us to be able to move our chorus from one position to another in a more precise way is first of all understand our beat and divide it into bars so that we can use these bars as reference for our next position. So what we're going to do here is match the tempo of our beat to that in cubase and then we're going to divide it into bars and we use these bars as reference to move the chorus to the next position right here i already know the tempo of this beat which is 155 so there are a lot of ways of finding the tempo of your beat if you don't know i'll leave a link to one of my videos on how to find the tempo of your beat also i'll leave the link to one of my videos on how to set that tempo right here in cubase without stretching your vocals so i'm going to do it a little bit quick just setting the tempo here in cubase if you don't really get how i've done that you can just refer to the videos in the description so the first thing you need to do is zoom into the beginning of the bit you notice that there's this blank space here so we need to get rid of this blank space in order for us to be able to fit our beat properly to the tempo here in uh, Cubase so that it matches with the bars. So you just need to remove this like that and just take it to the beginning of the, the beat. Make sure it's just at the beginning of the beat. So once you do that, all you need to do is just highlight everything and push it all the way to the beginning so that we take it to the beginning of the project and once you're done with that in my previous video on how to set the tempo without stretching this you have to click on this to remove all these channels from musical mode to linear so i won't explain much on this you can refer to the video so you just do this for all the channels once you're done with changing them to linear you can now set your tempo and make sure this is set to bar you can set your tempo here just double click and enter the tempo you found for the beat which is 155 for me and press ok so you notice that after we do this if i zoom in this bit is going to be divided into bars if you look at this so these are bars if i zoom in all the way and if you notice closely you see that most of the points will be matching with these lines that the beat has been divided in and the reason is because now the tempo in cubase and that of the beat are matching so if we divide it into bars these lines will be exactly on the points where maybe the kick was hitting and the snare and something like that so depending on how best you get your tempo you discover that these lines will be way on point with um, the bars of the beat so just make sure you do a great job on finding the tempo so we're going to use these lines as reference to move our first chorus to the next position if you look at the song that i have here i've got a chorus here which is this one and i'm supposed to move it from this position to this position and this other position here so now in order for me to do that i'll zoom in here i'll just zoom in and just highlight uh, this part of the chorus and zoom in further and just make sure that i click on grid right here if i click on grid 
and I've set this to bar. My case, I will be moving only in bars. It can't go in between. So if I want to go in between these lines, I can set this to quantize. Then I'll be able to navigate through the line. And the beauty with this is that now we will know that when we move it to the next position, the right position can only be on one of these lines. So it will be easy to locate it that way. So I'll make sure I cut exactly on the line and just remove the other part which wasn't correctly on the line so this is on the line so before i move this chorus i would just like to play this so that you know how the chorus is joining and then we can see how it joins on the next one so let me just play this control of my soul but i won't do you boy and i won't take no more sometimes i wonder If you want, you can cut this very close to the chorus so that it will be easier for you to get it there quickly. So just make sure you're always locked into grid. And if you want to navigate through these lines in between, you just click on quantize. So let me just cut somewhere close to the chorus. I light everything and then just control C on my keyboard for windows and then click on the channel. Uh, with the the topmost vocal of the chorus so we're supposed to bring it somewhere this side so what i can do now is zoom in so i'm just going to play and see where exactly the chorus should come in just have an idea of where it should come in so i'll play this I get over. so i can tell that it's somewhere around this area so i'll just click on this and then just paste control v so the chorus comes here and then if i zoom in so it can't go anywhere in between but on these lines and it's on one of these lines where the right position is so let me just play so it sounds like it's coming in a little bit faster so if i push it one step this side sometimes i wonder So and there we have it this is the right position and this way it becomes very easy for you to locate the right position because if you look at this let's say for example i put it on this line it will be easy for me to know that it's not on the right position Sometimes I wonder. so you can tell like that and if i put it away from this line which is the right position Sometimes I you can still tell but if i put it on this line you see that it fits perfectly well so the same thing just control c to copy the chorus or we've already copied it we can just paste there so i'll zoom in and let's just listen to where exactly this could be so let me play this so it's somewhere around this area just come here and just paste my chorus here control v and I'll zoom in and just listen to this. Sometimes I wonder. I'll push it one step. Sometimes I wonder. And that is all I need. So basically, this is how you can move your chorus from one position to another in a more precise way. So the first thing that you need to do is match the tempo of your beat to that of the tempo in Cubase so that you can divide the beat here in Cubase in bars and it's these bars and the lines in between that will help you locate the next uh, right position of your chorus in a more precise manner so thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you always get notified every time i upload a brand new video and feel free to comment in the comment section below also follow me on instagram and let's interact from there my name is jay see you in my next video and i'm out